Welcome to What's in the Pot, I'm your host Sean Grande and today we are making lollipop style chicken drumsticks in the oven. It's What's in the Pot. Thank you very much for tuning into What's in the Pot. I'm your host Sean Grande. Now to give the chicken the lollipop effect, I know a lot of people see this on Instagram or on Facebook, different videos like that. The easiest way to do it is take your knife and cut along the bottom of the chicken leg and just kind of cut right around it so it loosens up that skin, that cartilage, any little bit of that loose meat that's there. And then once you do that, you're gonna take your kitchen scissors and then kind of clean around the edges and then rip off that final piece of cartilage that's right at the end of the chicken leg. Once you've done that, we're gonna go ahead and just clean it up a little bit. You know, any extra pieces of uh, chicken or chicken cartilage, chicken skin that's kind of around the end, we just wanna clean it up. We wanna push the meat down to give it that lollipop effect and then just trim off the top so it can stand up because when we're baking these, we're gonna be baking them standing up. So for our dry rub for the chicken, I'm starting with half a cup of brown sugar and I'm gonna be adding one teaspoon of garlic powder and you can use garlic powder, not garlic salt. We're adding one teaspoon of ground can and we're also gonna be adding one teaspoon of chili powder. You don't have to add as much chili and can if you don't like it too spicy. I like a lot of spice so I went ahead and added a full teaspoon. Now I'm adding one teaspoon of this Tony's Creole seasoning. I'm adding salt because the Creole seasoning is pretty salty so we don't want to add extra salt on top of that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to mix this up and make sure it's it's grounded. It's kind of a nice powdery texture because we don't want any lumps. So when we add it to the chicken, it's nice and perfect. You can see here, this is our final product. This is the consistency you want with your dry rub. So now our dry rub is made. We're gonna go ahead and add that dry rub to the chicken. You can see the chicken here, it's been cleaned off on the bottom part. So there's not a lot of that extra cartilage and it's been pushed down and it's pushed, at, it's cleaned at the bottom so it can stand up. Now we wanna add this dry rub to each piece of chicken. Just add it liberally, add as much as you want. Now I made this dry rub, which would do probably about five pieces of chicken I'm doing here. I'd say you can probably get maybe about, maybe three more chicken legs in there. So maybe five to seven pieces um, or five to eight pieces, depending on how much chicken and how big they are. After adding our dry rub, I have the oven set to 350 degrees. I'm gonna bake this for about 30 to 35 minutes, and this is our final product. You can see that brown sugar caramelized on the skin. It's nice and crispy, it's nice and crunchy. The chicken inside is juicy. Um, it's not too dry because you don't wanna overcook the drumsticks, and you can see all that flavor, all that seasoning in the chicken. Thank you very much for tuning in to What's in the Pot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe with your friends, with your family. Till next time, I'm your host, Sean Grande. Peace.